Hello, hello. If you're going to put a video up here showing you how to use the uh, the new powers macro that I've added. Uh, also, just a review of the character sheet when doing um, initiative or um, skill checks. Um, but the changes I've made, um, just what everybody's going to have uh, the um, the powers macro when you choose your uh, your token up at the top here. You'll see all these buttons. Um, a at the beginning for at will, E for encounter, D for daily. Some of these attacks may affect more than one target, uh, such as the burning hands, which does a uh, uh, an area blast. It can affect a large group. Uh, for the wizard here, it would hit the chair. It could hit the fighter, the bard, and the rogue. Um, in this case, you'll see here there's burning hands and then there's burning hands attack, the attack one doing the attack roll. Uh, for example, you hit burning hands, it does your roll, and it gives you the, the damage portion. But to find out who it hits, you would then use the burning hands attack, target everybody one at a time, and it does the attack roll here for everyone. Um, this can be a lot easier rather than uh, trying to uh, manually type out what uh, what needs to happen. This way it all just kind of pops in there and it's got the flavored text um, described just what happens when that power occurs. Um, but I've added pretty much everybody's uh, powers in the macros to make it a lot easier. Uh, in addition to that, uh, a lot of you have been doing this, um, but if you go to your, your character sheet, you go uh, under the character sheet section here, for example, the skills, uh, you can actually perform a skill check. Like if I ask uh, for a perception check, you can click on here next to perception, and it does a check. Uh, if I need you to roll initiative, you go under initiative, and it rolls initiative. If you get an error on any of these about uh, no token selected, it just means you have to select your token first, and then click on the button. And I know sometimes this window can get in the way, um, but you uh, because you're kind of stuck moving around in here. I mean, you can resize it, but you can also click the button here to uh, pop it out into a, its own window so you can minimize it out of the way completely, manipulate your token, whether it's the arrow keys or drag and drop with the mouse, and then bring it back up again when you need it. Um, a lot of you have been using the... Uh, the toolbar over here, whether it's for a ruler to get measurements distance, or there's also uh, the automatic dice roller here as well if uh, something doesn't fit into the skill category initiative or a power attack you can set up what you want to roll. Uh, either just click on one of these just to roll that single dice or you can choose if you want to roll two d20s and add three to it you can do that as well, and that's how it'll show up. But hopefully uh, you all will find these additions useful, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, at the next encounter. Have a good one.